Hello everyone, this video will talk about the different types of culture media that are used to grow organisms from clinical specimen. The culture media used in microbiology may be categorized according to their different function. We have the general isolation media, the non-selective isolation media, differential media, enrichment broth, selective media, and lastly we have the antibiotic media. The first type of culture media is the general isolation media, which is also known as a supportive media because it supports the growth of most non-fastidious bacteria. It gives no advantage to the growth of a specific group of bacteria because it provides all the essential nutrients required for the growth of a wide variety or a wide range of bacteria, yeasts, and molds. Examples of isolation media would be the nutrient agar plate, the tryptocase soy agar, and the nutrient broth. Both the NAP and the TSA are solid media, while the nutrient broth is a liquid media. Descriptions given to these types of media are pale, color would be light yellow to amber. The second type of media is the non-selective isolation media, which is considered as an enriched media. Enriched because it contains extra nutrient supplements that support the growth of organisms. Examples of the non-selective isolation media would be the sheep blood agar, which is abbreviated as SBA or BAP. The base which is used to create or to make the sheep blood agar is the tryptocase soy agar and this is an is general isolation media. Other bases that may be used to prepare sheep blood agar are columbia agar and brain heart infusion agar. This is considered as an enriched media because of the added 5% defibrinated sheep blood. Sheep blood is preferred because other sources like the horse blood may give different reactions or an erratic reaction for hemolysis. The second type of enriched media would be the chocolate agar plate, abbreviated as CAP. The CAP is prepared the same manner as the BAP except that the agar is either heated or it is treated with enzyme so that we can hemolyze the red blood cells. This step is needed so that the NAD may be released from the RBC. Additional nutrients that are added in CAP is the isovitalics. The isovitalics contains dextrose, cysteine, vitamin B12, thiamine, and ferric nitrate. This supports the growth of fastidious bacteria like Neisseria gonorrhea and Haemophilus influenzae. The third type of media is the differential media that differentiates organisms according to the appearance of their colonies on the culture medium. This is possible because the groups, there are groups of bacteria that have certain characteristics that separates them or makes them unique from the other types of bacteria. One example of differential media is the McConkie agar or the MAC, which differentiates organisms if they are fermenters or non-fermenters. This medium contains lactose, bile salts, neutral red indicator, and crystal violet. Organisms that are able to ferment lactose present in the medium would have colonies that are pink to red, while those that are unable to ferment lactose will have colonies that appear clear. Another example of a differential media is the sulfide indolmotility medium, or the SIM. This is a deep or butt medium and a semi-solid media with 0.4% agar. This medium is used to differentiate motile from non-motile bacteria. Test tube on the left shows motility of the bacteria, while test tube on the right shows non-motile bacteria. This medium is good in identifying Klebsiella and Shigella species, which are the only non-motile organisms of the family Enterobacteria C. It is also useful in the identification of Yersinia, which is non-motile at 37 degrees Celsius and motile at 22 degrees Celsius. Differential, most differential media are used to isolate gram-negative bacteria through the addition of ingredients that are inhibitory 
for the growth of gram-positive organisms. An example of this type of media is the triple sugar iron or the TSI, which contains three sugar, as the name implies, glucose, lactose, and sucrose. The TSI is primarily used to differentiate bacteria on their ability to ferment these three sugars. Also, this medium is used to identify those organisms that are able to produce gas and hydrogen sulfide during fermentation. Gas is observed by the presence of cracks or bubbles in the butt medium, while hydrogen sulfide is indicated by the presence of a black precipitate. Another medium is the lysine iron agar, which contains lysine, iron salts, and a pH indicator. Lia is primarily used to differentiate bacteria on their ability to decarboxylate lysine on the butt portion of the medium and the deamination of lysine in the slant portion of the medium. This is also useful in the identification of the production of hydrogen sulfide during fermentation. The original color of Lia is purple. The original color of TSI is orange. And lastly, we have the Simmons citrate agar, which is also a differential medium based on the ability of the organism to utilize citrate as their sole source of carbon. This is a slant medium. Original color of citrate is green, and a positive reaction turns the medium into blue. The fourth type of media are the enrichment broths, which are liquid growth media. Enrichment broths have the ability to enhance the growth of certain organisms while inhibiting the growth of others. Th enrichment broths are usually used on complex specimens, complex because they have a mixture or the presence of different organisms. Examples of these types of complex specimens are clinical specimens, and environmental specimens. Examples of uh, enrichment broths are thioglycolate broth and selenite broth. Thioglycolate broth contains thioglycolic acid, a small percent of agar, and the enrichment added to it are the numerous nutrients like yeast, beef extracts, vitamins, and hemin. Thioglycolate broth is useful in the enrichment or the isolation of anaerobic bacteria. Selenite broth, or sometimes selenite F broth, contains sodium hydrogen selenite, which is useful in the enrichment of Salmonella and Shigella species from fecal or from stool specimens. The next type of media is the selective media, which selects the growth of an organism while inhibiting the growth of others. An example of selective media is the mannitol salt agar, or the MSA, which contains high concentration of salt. The presence of these salts allows the selection of halophilic bacteria growth. An example of these is the Staphylococcus species. Another selective media is the McConkie agar, which selects the growth of gram-negative bacteria. The presence of bile salts and crystal violet prevents the growth of gram-positive organisms. A lot of culture media may be selective and differential, which means that they can select the growth of certain organisms while being able to differentiate these organisms according to their morphology or biochemical reactions. Examples of selective and differential media are eosin methylene blue, or EMB, hectone antaric agar, or HEA, and xylosylicin deoxycholate, or XLD. MSA, or mannitol salt agar, is also both selective and differential. And lastly, we have the antibiotic media. These are selective media with the addition of antibiotics. The presence of these antimicrobial agents allows the identification or the growth of specific organisms based on their antibiotic susceptibility. An example of antibiotic media is the cholestinalidixic acid, or CNA, which selects the growth of gram-positive organisms like 
Staphylococcus species and Streptococcus species. The base medium for CNA is sheep's blood agar and the antibiotics added to it are the cholistin and nalidixic acid. Another example of antibiotic media is the modified Thayer Martin or the MTM, which selects the growth of Neisseria gonorrhea. The base medium for MTM is the chocolate agar plate and the antibiotics added are vancomycin, cholistin, nistatin, and trimethoprim lactate. And that ends this video about the different types of culture media according to their function used for the growth of organisms from clinical specimen. Thank you very much for watching.